and welcome. I am so glad that you're all here. So today I'm gonna to show you something super, super cool. How to make a turkey using napkins. Now, if you don't have your cloth napkin, do not worry, because we can use also the paper napkins over here. So you can also use your paper napkin to make your little turkey super cute so you are not out. If you don't have the fabric cloth napkin, you can also enjoy your turkey. We're gonna show you how you can also make it using your cloth napkin and also other different types of napkins materials. So polyester would hold on really good. The one that is cotton, it will hold on even better, which is just, um, more cotton, so it holds on even better. And then if you have the polyester or a mix, then it will hold on, but not as strong as this one over here. And the napkin holds super strong. So if you want to have it even more stronger, I recommend to also have a paper clip. Just one. That's all you need. Just one paper clip. Just one paper clip. So that would be super cool. So the only thing that you're needing is then your napkins, either the paper cloth fabric napkins, and then your paper clip. And look at our beautiful wreath that we just made in our last video, still holding on and just adding the center, the happy Thanksgiving sign. So if you guys are, in, are gonna be hosting Thanksgiving or you're not gonna be hosting Thanksgiving and you're just gonna be enjoying yourself and just doing video calls, just like I have been doing for so many years with my family from Puerto Rico. So you can go ahead and enjoy and host and decorate your table using your origamis that we're gonna be making today. So come on, let's dig on and let's enjoy. For each turkey, you're gonna need two napkins, two napkins. So we're just gonna start with the cloth turkey. So this is gonna be two cloth napkins that we're gonna need. One for the body and one for the tail. The first one, you're gonna open it up. So as you can see, I have opened it up and this is gonna be the outside that it doesn't have the sewing. So the sewing goes inside and I have it looking towards me. Now I'm gonna take the first part and I'm gonna fold it in the middle, fold it to the middle, making a triangle. So again, I just took the corner from the top, folded it in the middle, took the corner from the top, folded it in the middle, making a triangle, leaving everything else open. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a diagonal fold. So I'm gonna take the lateral right side, make a diagonal fold right here, like so. Take the other left side, lateral side, and make also a diagonal fold, like so, to the middle. Super cute. And this is how it's gonna end. Now we're gonna do that again, that same step back again. So we're gonna take then the lateral right side, make a fold again to the middle. Then again, take the other lateral side and here the left side for me and making then a fold to the middle. And you're gonna end up with something like this. Okay, so now you're gonna go ahead, do not let it go, take half of it and you're gonna then fold it towards you. Fold it towards you, okay? That's gonna be your body. This is your head. So the one, the one quarter of the top, you're gonna fold it towards the front. So fold it forward. So this is our body with the head. What I like to do while I'm making the tail, I go ahead and put some pressure, so I'm using a coaster to hold it. So that's gonna be to the side while we make the tail. Okay, so we got the body, now we're gonna make the tail. To make the tail, we go ahead, take another napkin, we're gonna open this napkin again, the same way as I said. The inside is gonna be the one facing up. As you can see, this is gonna be what it should be outside, so this is in the bottom, okay? So here we go. We're gonna go ahead, take our napkin, fold it in the half, 
Once we have folded it in half, we flip it 90 degree. And now we're gonna do an accordion, or as you would say then, a fan. Un abanico. Abanico is the same as saying fan in Spanish. You always learn some new Spanish word in here with me. So make your accordion, which in Spanish is the same thing as an accordion. And go ahead, keep on going back and forth. Then you're gonna leave like a quarter empty without doing nothing to it. And you're gonna actually go a little bit more up to here and leave this quarter over here. Okay, so this is gonna stay without doing no, no folding. Now we're gonna go ahead and fold the middle, fold it in the middle, okay? So we fold it in half, fold it in half. So we have our accordion, just in case you didn't see it, we have our accordion that we made, All right? So we end up something like this. And I go ahead into this side and I am gonna fold it in half, fold it in half, okay? So you're gonna end up with something like this and you're gonna go ahead, this end, as you can see, you have one end and one end. You're gonna take one of the ends and you're gonna fold it diagonally like so. And you're gonna take the other end and fold it also diagonally on top of the other side like so. So this is what gives you that structure that you can hold on to, right? So what I do is I take a paper clip and I hold on this over here. The higher at the top, the better, because it's gonna be stronger. So do not let it go. We're still holding to this. And we go ahead, take our little turkey body. There you go, such a cutie. And we're gonna put this now we can let it go and put it right here in the middle. So cute. And as you can see, we have our turkey now. Yay! And you can do it also without the paper clip, but it will not stay as strong. It will start opening up and finding up. And so I'd like to see the folds. As you can see, I like to see those folds. So with the paper clip, it holds on way better. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side. What I do is I cut, you know, that I always like to incorporate nature. So I cut some branches of my um, Tuya Arborvitae and I just put it in the middle, like if the turkey was in the forest. And so the turkey goes in here. And so when somebody sits down, you can just go ahead and take the body or take the tail and put it in your lap and start enjoying the meal. For the paper napkins, so we're gonna do the exact same thing that we were doing for the cloth napkin. For the paper napkin, you need again, two paper napkins. One is gonna be your body, one is gonna be your tail. So let's go ahead and start with our body. So when you get your paper napkin, you see them that they're fold and four. So you're gonna go ahead and open it up completely. So open one fold, open one fold. Just like we did with the cloth napkin, you want the decoration, the nice side, outside in the bottom. And the one that you don't wanna see, that is gonna be then not the best side, it's gonna be inside and it's gonna be looking up, okay? So the nice side and the bottom, make sure that you do that. Once you have it like this, then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Take the upper corner and fold it to the middle, like so. The upper corner and fold it to the middle. like so okay we're gonna do it again just so you didn't see it upper corner to the middle upper corner to the middle and you're gonna leave all of this empty 
Now you're gonna take this side, the lateral side, and your right side, your left side for you guys. You're gonna fold it then in the middle diagonally. And then you do the same thing in your other side as well. So fold the other lateral side into the middle diagonally. You're gonna end up with something like this, looking like a rocket in there, super cute. Now do this exact same step that we just did, repeat it again. So do that last step again, fold it lateral, diagonally in the middle. Do the exact same step in the other side again. Great job, looking good. Now you're gonna end up with something just like this. Looking really nice. I'm just folding it so it doesn't open up. Now you're gonna take almost half of it and you're gonna fold it right. That's gonna be your body. So as you can see, I'm folding half of it. Folding it in half towards my side, towards me. And now I'm going to go ahead and take this upper one quarter, which is going to be the head, and I'm going to fold it towards the front, to the front. Here we go. That's going to be the head. And as I just said, you're going to always have something to hold it down. That's what I like to do. You can leave it. It's going to just fan. But I like to have some pressure because it actually, that little time of doing the tail it keeps it with that shape so if you have something some coaster some book something to hold it it would actually give it more form more shape so we just put this to the side while we're making now our tail so again we take then our napkin that comes out already in four different shapes we're gonna take go ahead and open those folds you want to have then this napkin just the same way that we said before. The side that you don't want to see is going to be looking up towards you. The side that you want to see is going to be looking towards the bottom, towards the table. Now you're going to go ahead and fold it in half. Once you have folded it in half, you're going to then turn it 90 degree angle. Or if you want to, you can just leave it that side. I just like to have this side that is fanning. I like to have it in my left side. That's my preference, but you can put it whatever side you want to have. As long as it's like this, vertically. Then you go ahead and start doing your fanning. Which is going to do folding it like an accordion or a fan. In Spanish, accordion or abanico. Here we go. Looking good, looking good. Now, as we always say, we're gonna leave this one quarter at the end. We're not gonna touch it, we're gonna leave it open. And this is what you're gonna end up with, right? Super cute, looking good. So now you can go ahead and fold it now in the center. You can fold it this way, or you can fold it this way. I like to fold it this way with this in the middle. So this side with the side in the middle is going to be folded up, okay? So we're just folding it in the middle, just folding that accordion. We're going to end up with this two leaflets, as we said, one leaflet over here, one leaflet over here. You're going to take one of the leaflets and you're going to fold it then diagonally. So we're going to be folding this to the side, diagonally. Now you're going to take the other leaflet and also fold it on top of it, diagonally as well. That's what's going to hold on the tail and gives you that structure. We're going to take one of the paper clips. We just need one paper clip. And then put it on the top of that little diagonal tail. The higher in the top, the better to have higher grip. 
We do not let go of that, uh, this until we are actually ready to put it in as a tail. Now that we're ready, you can go ahead and let it go. Then we just put it in here and then just give it a little bit of structure by holding this a little bit more. And there you have it. You have now your beautiful turkey. We're using just napkins, paper napkins. And as I said, I always like to take some branches. So any branch that you have at home, just you cut a little branch, put it in your plate, the plate that you're gonna be using, and then just put that on top of it. So it looks like the turkey is coming out of the forest. And giving it a little bit of a natural look. And there you have it, your little turkey. And the peak, you can put it in, go play with it a little bit more if you wanna put it in a little bit of going down because I don't like it sticking up that much. So I might put the coaster a little bit longer so that it can hold on so that it will have the shape more like this. Like it's looking up and not too up. So isn't it cute and beautiful? It's super pretty. And again, you can do it without the paper clip, but with the paper clip, it holds on way better. So this is our table, how we have it set up for now. And you can see our cute little turkeys and display showing off the fanning of their tails. Super cute. And all of the things that we have got here, all of the centerpieces are spruce. Some of our hollies are already getting dehydrated, as you can see, they're dehydrating, hydrating out. And there's our cones that we have got from spruce cones and pine cones that we just painted it. You can see one of our tutorials. We actually use nail polish for that, so it's in one of our videos from our autumn. And I just go ahead, went ahead and put a string of lights in the middle so that it looks really nice during the night. Just added some decoration in the center. This is actually over here a candle in the center. We just got this from Justin's mom. May she rest in peace. And in here we have then our beautiful um, plan of Strelitzia, one of our divisions. So you guys you can go ahead and see the video of the Strelitzia. So we have four of them. And so we added also some hollies in the center as well. We added then some chairs in the sides just in case that people need to sit down. So these are branches that we got from our yard. So just cut a branch and put it in there. So you can see they're dehydrating as well. So they're already drying out and they can last a whole month or even more. And I'm just gonna leave it there until it doesn't look any more green and that's when I will change it. We just put some of the little trees over here in the corners and so we have also an extra big tree in here as you can see right there. I'm not gonna show you that because it's not decorated still but we have one in here in the corner. And so we have then our wreath over here that we made and that one is also now dehydrating because um, it was, it has been now what, almost a month or two weeks since we have put it up. So you can see the berries that they're drying out and they still hold on that color. So you don't have to worry that if you have a natural looking wreath that it's gonna look, um, lose the color because it does not. It just stays for a long time. You have a sneak peek over there by the core because we have more trees around the house. And so in the top, what I wanted to show you is that we have this cute added piece of, uh, you cannot see as well, but this is all full of hollies as well. So you can see some of the berries and you can also see some of the tuja and it has some spruce tree. So it's just a matter of just adding the nature that you have from your yard and just putting it over there. So it smells great in here. It always smells super good because of so much nature that we have added into this cute dining area. So just by branches, lots of branches, lots of decor from our yard, 
then that can make it look super cute so if you don't have much just add a little branches from your yard and then in here just take some paper napkins a little tiny branch at the table and that is it i do a lot of mismatch so i don't like to have everything completely matching so as you can see the colors that are predominant in here is that green that brings it all together and some metals and also organic material at the same time so i hope that this inspired you guys and i hope that you got some ideas from here and we are all done i hope that you really enjoyed this tutorial i really truly enjoy it i enjoy making creating all kinds of stuff and then being able to say like how you did that this is so cool i can show you how to do it it's a great conversational piece on the table so i hope that you also add it to your table add it to your dinners and try it just try it it's super easy just watch the video and go ahead through the steps i love you guys love each one of you thank you for coming to the video checking it out if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to our channel like this video and also share with other people i have lots of different decorations that i'm making in the house because it's gonna be christmas so you know how i am i have a whole fight of ideas in this channel we make all kinds of stuff how we are converting our house into our home, our lawn into our garden. So if you like garden, do it yourself, home remedies, health and wellness, all kinds of stuff like that, we have it all in here. So go ahead and subscribe. Have an awesome day, guys. May God bless you. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the miracles. See ya. See you next Tuesday. Bye.